morning folks, uh, a quickie this morning, well I hope it's a quickie, lots to do today, sister's birthday, etc. Uh, right, yesterday I did this one, uh, I wasn't really happy with it because it's not where I want to be. It's uh, just a plain uh, piece of work, uh, but uh, I got a message from an old colleague of mine, he's American, who started, um, well there's several several of us were really at the beginning, the, the uh, Ron Ransom Disciples. And for those of you who don't know, Ron Ransom was, a, was an Englishman who, who um, gave us the, the Hake brush. And, uh, and we, we, we carried on with this channel for a while. Now, I, I don't post anything now because I'm mostly doing other things. But Matthew Cannon, who founded the, uh, the group, and we all pitched in on it, um, did an acrylic of this, of this uh, painting here, this one that I did yesterday. Uh, but he, he managed to abstract it. And he, I know how, how hard Matthew's worked over the years to, to um, produce some really good work. And, and I was really knocked out by it. It was very, very, it looked very, very simple. But, it, but of course, going from this to a, an abstraction, or sort of impressionist abstraction, takes a lot of courage. Uh, not least, at least a waste of paper and paint. But he did it, and it was lovely. I can't show you it, but it's on my me messenger page on Facebook. Um, I would uh, 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 recommend that that you look on Facebook if you're if you're on Facebook for Matthew Clemens. Matthew Clemens, uh, Matthew with a double T, or Matteo Clemens. Uh, I know how hard he's worked at, at uh, becoming a good artist, and he, that's what he is now. But I was so knocked over by it that I'm going to do, I'm going to abstract my own work as well. Because he he works it from this, but he he completely simplified it and put extra colours in and and uh, so thank you, Matthew. I've made no apologies for for plagiarism. Well, I'm not. I'm going to do my own thing. But uh, uh, so uh, acrylic. He did it in acrylic. So his acrylic. I've got this page here. Look, look at my palette. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, We've got uh, ca cadmium yeah, uh, red ultramarine. Oh, let's just got to be careful about that. Don't want it to, whoops, I don't want it to, to fall down. Uh, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, uh, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. I don't really like the cadmium, so I'm using in the cheaper acrylic range. But anyway, we'll start. I've got a bit of water, just in case. Got a bit of a toweling that I've just cut. And I'm going to use my old brushes and I'm going to rough, rough this in. I'm going to put the uh, the water in. Oh, let's give it a little bit dip it in, into the acrylic. Uh, not the acrylic, into the Winsor & Newton liquid. Uh, so what we're going to use is a touch of water. When you use ac do acrylics, don't let your brushes dry. Whatever you do, and when they do, you lost them. When they don't take long to dry, believe you me. All right, okay, so touch of water. I think my cat's been in here. So we'll, do, we'll make a bit of a sky. Just, just roughly, there's not a bit of a watercolour paper with a, a, probably a demo on the back. But you don't need to prime acrylic, uh, prime watercolour paper for acrylics. The paint itself becomes a primer. So let's uh, get a bit of a bit of that. A bit of red. Oh no, I don't like that. Just. Plod away until you get something you like. Don't 
don't work over one bit for too long because it'll, we, we don't want it to croggle the paper. Uh, let's uh, Okay, let's just get a bit of, bit of blue back in there. Okay, we'll go back on that. Uh, well, we need a bit of a... Right, clean the brush. I won't put it in the water. I'm going to put in some trees. On that, I'll go back over that sky because it's not very good. Uh, once we abstract it, so right, so a bit of paint grey, bit of bit of that, bit of paint grey, okay, uh, sienna. The one I did was, was a, a river. start for the bank the red the blue right so we're going to do the bank Can go over it all the time. Uh, you don't, when it dries, which is very quick, you can go in and uh, just, just, just enjoy the process of whacking it on. Some colours are very strong and others not so strong. Right, I'll just go, I'll go into the sky, do a bit on the sky. We're all clean the brush now, just in the, in the water. Some cloud up here. I'm not really thinking about this, I'm just I'm just plastering on the paint. Because that started to dry a little bit. Uh, there's plenty of colour in. A bit of a uh, loads of colours. Right, 
my, well, it's a quite an interesting sky. Right, let's go back and put in some of this. Give the palette a good clean afterwards. This is really a case of letting the viewer sort it out, give it a title, and hope for the best. Oh, let's get a bit of green in here. Shadow. Paints. Don't be frightened. The paints grey. Wonderful, wonderful colour. I'll get the dark on in here. Right, okay, let's uh, go into that water. A little bit of air in some of this. Let's give this a good clean palette. I will use a rig, well, I might use a rig on, on some of the prints, some of the trunks in, but uh, let's get a bit of a uh, bluish colour here but this one so now we're putting a bit of a, a bit of colour in here There's no blue in this, no um, white in the uh, sky. Right, we've got to go over that bit just to. Oh, 
Right. Uh, got a bit of dark. Bit of red. So I get some uh, just putting some. Uh, some branches and things now I have to admit that I've, this isn't a patch on what Matthew did this is a rigger I just want to get a bit of stipple on that, those trees, just open them up just a little bit. Uh, so we've got to choose the colours that are actually in the sky. Put that in a, in a sort of mount, and see what it looks like. If I can find one. Well, um, no, it needs a bit wide, a bit longer than that. Probably is too, too big. Let's see uh, the river parrot. <laughs> uh, let's just dismantle that. I'm not going to do any more. We've got a paint to waste. Uh, right, I, I'll call that uh, <laughs> Dave's take on Matthew's uh, abstract of my representational. Uh, well, it's come a long way from, from this one, hasn't it? Uh, you know, I, I really don't like that. Uh, I know a lot of people who think, oh, I wish I could do it, but uh, you can if you persevere with, and don't give up when you can't do it. Uh, right, well, I'll, go, I'll, I'll publish it. I'll see what, what uh, 
people think of it. Let's try to just give it a bit of a, a bit of a signature. These sort of things are, are, are good fun to do. For, do it for yourself, but I'm, I'm going to publish this on YouTube. But but it's it's different. It's trying to be different from everybody else. Finding a new way. I, I've, I've tried so hard over the years to to go abstract. Some have, have worked out quite well, but I don't know about this one. But I, I did this as a tribute to, to Matthew Clemens. And I said, well, he inspired me to do it, although this is nothing like uh, what he did. But have a look on Facebook. I'm not sure if he might be on YouTube now. Was it producing acrylic uh, abstracts, like the one I saw yesterday? It's absolutely superb. And there's absolutely no detail in that. Uh, it's texture, 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 texture all the time. Anyway, thanks for persevering folks. I hope you like, some of you like it anyway. And I'll just clear up. Bye for now.